Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Xena520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It's been a while, hasn't it? In the last episode, we wandered around, we picked up the last few secret seashells, and received the level 2 sword. We also picked up a couple heart pieces. And in this episode, we're going to continue in the Face Shrine. However, there is one thing that I need to go out and take care of, so I will meet you back over at the Color Dungeon. And here we are in the Color Dungeon. So, one thing I for completely forgot. Let's go these color goblins. Um. I didn't actually forget it, because I didn't actually know it existed. But if we look at the map here, there is one room on the map that we have not visited. And that is because it is a secret room. And it's actually down here. So, I did not realize this was down here. And in this secret room, we have a rupee room! Just like in Zelda 1. Each one of these rupees is worth 5. So, if you're still looking to buy the bow, this is a good place to go if you're grinding for rupees. Get out of the way. So, just thought I would show that. Now then, I'll meet you back over at Face Shrine. back. So, in the last episode, we explored all of this. And, we have a key. So, let's see if we can't make some progress in... Oh. I don't think there are very many rooms in this dungeon that have, or in, like, any dungeon that have those, uh, floor tiles. Oh, what do we have here? It looks like a dead-end room. Oh, wait. There's bombs. There's a heart. Let's see here. And here we have a mini boss. This little pudding guy will pick up his ball and throw it at you, and then go run after it. Well, let's do the same thing back to him, except he'll run away from us if we do that. And the uh, the game's weird uh, vertical height thing is playing against us. However, you can do one of these. Four hits, and he's done. That was the mini boss. And the mini boss was in the eye of the mask. Now, the interesting thing about this was we had the bomb into here. That doesn't happen. And now... We're caught in a loop. Can't do anything with these. There doesn't seem to be... A way to get out. Well, what we need is actually the dungeon item, which we do not have. If you'll notice, there is a level 1 next to our power bracelet there. And that level 1 only appears there if you can upgrade your item, such as with the sword. So... 
Let's take a look around. this again. These flying tiles actually did appear in one 3D Zelda game. They showed up in Ocarina of Time. Still can't get through here. But they were much less annoying, and they only ever showed up in, I'm gonna say, one dungeon? And I believe that was the Fire Temple. And they only showed up in one room as well. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, let's uh, try to get into these side rooms again. That's not how you do that. Right, I need to lift this pot. I'm now super fast as well. Don't have to worry about this room. Uh, this is the room where you can throw the pot at the door. That's what I actually have to do right now. Dude. Why did you do that? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think... Oh, but wait, I can't do that. Okay, fine. This dungeon is kind of cryptic. Oh, right, just do that. Wait. If I... Puzzle. But I don't think I can solve. Because I don't have the necessary materials. There's those things. And there's the room we ended in last time. Hmm. A conundrum. I'm going to end up having to cut a bunch of crap out, aren't I? This is going to be fun. Ow. Oh. There we go. I'm an idiot. <laughs> this room. Note the path goes into the wall. Note the two torches. Note the fact that this is the eyeball and you can get into the other eye. And we now have this, uh... strangeness to deal with. There is a staircase. Anything happen if we do one of these? Nope. Fair. Whoa! Hello. I... What are you? I think you're one of those... I think you're like a giant bubble. Oops. Let's try hitting you with this. Hello? Nope. Nothing happens. How about this? 
Anything? Nope. Okay, so this guy's impervious. It seems. Just avoid him. There's another one. Jump on the ladder. Oh, jeez. How did that work? <laughs> that was weird. Alright, let's just get out of this hole. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll be right back. Excuse me? What the? Shy guy, I love you, but get out of my way. Eh. There. Alright. Let's just try this again. Giant bubble. Giant bubble scares me. Seems to be randomized too. Anyway, we're back in this room. Yay! And we'll kill that guy. And then we'll take care of these two. Ow. go in this room and now we've got a pot and a treasure treasure chest and we're not in, in that room at the bottom well, there's a fairy that doesn't want to come over here and play there we go so what could be in this treasure chest well You've got a more powerful bracelet. Now you can almost lift a whale. But more importantly, we can now lift these. And they're very animated when they break. So there's the dungeon item. Let's see if I can open this door. Yep, sure can. Probably can open that one too. What's in here? Oh boy, it's a hundred, holy crap, a hundred rupees. <laughs> Can I get in this door? Yes. And now I can get back down here. Super quick. But... Let's go investigate that other... area. With the two sparks. Because there's bound to be something there. That treasure chest way up in the corner. Top left of the... Uh, mask. Fortunately, oh wait, looks like you do lift the pots a little faster now. So, let's see. Get rid of these guys. Don't throw the pot. Grab the bombs, open door. Lift this, upgrade it. Kill the star. Hit that, and now we should be able to pick one of these up and open this door. Oh boy, I get to explain these things now. You've got a hundred rupees! That's another hundred rupees. Holy crap. Anyway. Ah. So, where we are now, excuse me, is, this is part of the Rapids Ride game. We saw the, uh, we saw this up here, the raft shop. This is part of the area where you would go rafting. And you can see that flying rupee there. Now here's an extra 20 rupees. 
back in Phase Shrine. Now, to get out of this room, what we're going to need to do is use these. These are chess pieces. The idea of them is that you need to throw them in a certain way to get them to land on their base. You fail. They, uh... Well, they fall back over. So this one needs to be thrown this way. That much is clear. This other one, though... Has to be thrown down. Okay. There's a certain nuance to actually getting them to land correctly. Each one is different. And they're a royal pain in the butt to try and figure out. Anyway. Oh. Crap. Oh, can I... Can I please, uh, do one of these? That's not gonna reach. Do a boomerang? No, because you can't get over the, those things. Uh, fine. There we go. So now, let's get back to the mini boss room. Because we had that area that we couldn't do anything in because of those statues, and it was looping. So, if we come in here now, grab this, let's check under these statues. Oh, there's a staircase. Let's use that. Got some sparks, got a Goomba. Let's do it with the sparks. Don't need to worry about the- Ow! Ah! Get me out of here. Well, that was dumb. Guess we did have to worry about the Goomba. Anyway, continuing on. That works a lot better in later games. Oh, goody! More fly flying floor tiles. Except now, they're covering up holes. So, they wreck the room that they're in. And I'm taking a lot of freaking damage. Anyway, key. What's down from here? One of those things. Let's, uh... Whoa, what? Okay, it doesn't like the boomerang. I found another enemy that doesn't die to the boomerang. Does it... Does it stupid. Does it die to arrows? No. Also does not die to projectiles. How about hookshot? Oh, nope, nope. Doesn't like the hookshot either. Well, fine then. I'll just... Oh, jeez. Get down the hole. Anyway. Well, let's get rid of all these guys. So we can open the door. And, uh, here's a new enemy! Here is a Beemos. You may remember them from A Link to the Past. Oh, well, they're here now. They are just as annoying. Oops. I think I have to push that block. Yes, that's what I have to do. Anyway. Well, there's the boss room. But we don't have the boss key. And we kind of need a fairy. 
there's a couple torches here that are not lit, so let's uh, do something with that. Oh! <laughs> okay, so it <laughs> kills them. Alright, so I guess that's not what I thought it was. Uh, how do I get boss key then? Oh, I gotta kill this guy again. guy's alive again. To get through this room, all you gotta do is kill all the gels in the room. Oh. Duh. How do we go up this way? Uh, is there anything under this guy? No, but I probably need to use him to open the door. Yeah. And more fun with knights. Yeah, that's how you do that one. How about this one? Yep, there we go. And now we can go down this staircase that we saw way earlier. Here are little thwomps. Little thwomps went to land on us. Let's uh, run past them. So we don't have to deal with them. Paul's voice. Do we have a... Oh, yes we do. For you. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> Except this time we're a little more prepared. Use the dongo snakes. Take care of them. I'm gonna kill them all. Or I guess both of them in this case. I could use the health at this point. Oh, I don't have a key. I need to leave. Um, I'm pretty sure the only killing one works there, too. Mm -hmm. More sparks. Technically, you're supposed to jump over this. But whatever. You're supposed to jump over these guys instead of killing them, because... Unless you have the, um... Boomerang, you're technically not supposed to be able to kill them. More?! Oh, come on, man. Well, let's get the chest. 200 ru Holy crap. Do we need that many rupees? There's a star here. Alright, let's get out of the room, because there's no reason for us to be here. How do you... How do you use these? It... Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna ignore these ones. Yep. Hitbox shenanigans. Bombs. Mm. Bombs? Wait, did I get a key? I did not get a key. But where's the blooming key? Oh, wait a minute. I can jump down here. Oh boy. Stop ruining the good music. Oh, there's the key. And there's a treasure chest. That's the treasure chest with the nightmare key in it. However, we can't get back up there, so we gotta take the long way. And, uh, not get hit by that. Except <laughs> get hit by that. Alright, we can just get rid of that, get rid of that. Where the heck are we? Whoa! Hello. Hello, dudes. Dude, what? Stop it. Takes four to kill these. Dude. There we go. 
get the feeling I'm going to need this. Mm, not yet. Oh, it's this room! Hey, it's this room. This is the room I should have been in earlier. Okay, so... All we gotta do is backtrack to find a switch. Oops. Okay, I didn't need the feather. I just need the something or other. Um, just need to find a switch. Just need to find a switch and a fairy. Thank you. There we go. I'm gonna ignore you because you're not important. Kill you again. And we'll head back to the room with the two statues. Which is here. And now we can lift these statues and break open that door. And just double checking to see if there wasn't anything under there, and there wasn't. Oh, I'm gonna kill these guys again. Fine. Yes, waste your arrows. Oh, jeez. Arrows. There. And now we can get in here. Kill the stars. Now, how are we supposed to get over there? Well, like this. You can actually walk on top of these things. And if you jump, you can actually jump on top of another one that's like that. And then we jump over the blade trap. And grab secret medicine! So, we just got a free bottle of secret medicine. This is the same as Crazy Tracy's uh, magic elixir stuff. You can see it on our thing there. So, there are two of those freebies in the game. One of them is in level 6, and I believe the other one is in level 8. And it saves you having to go and buy it. And I'm going to hurry up and get through this room so I don't have to... Nope, not that way. Just activate all these guys. So they fall down the hole. And I do have to go that way. You fell down the hole by yourself. Good job. You did. I have to go this way. Oh, right. I need to throw the statue at the door. I don't have to deal with that. With those. Grab this. Through the door. These stupid things again. That one. That way. What? This one goes this way. I hate those things. They're the dumbest mechanic in the entire series, and I'm glad they never came back. You will never find those in any other game, and I'm all for that. Oh, you gotta kill these guys again? Fine. I have bombs. Come on. What? Excuse you. Dude, eat the bomb. 
son? <laughs> well, it was sloppy, but we got there in the end. Anyway. Zip line over here. Kill the star. Let's break some pots. And here's our chest. To open a treasure chest, use the pots around it. Well, yes, this uh, treasure chest will not open. Unless you pick up and throw a pot at it. For some reason. And here is the Nightmare's Key. This also was never used in any other games in the series. So, good for that. Also, unfortunately, we have to take the long way. Back to... Um, Happy Bill. <laughs> the Nightmare Room. Oh, right, we gotta deal with these guys again. Okay, I, th I think you can also use bombs. Let's see. If I can time the bomb correctly. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you can use bombs. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh, wait. This is not the right room. That would be... This room. Not gonna bother with this, this the sparks this time, because I don't need it. Make our way across here, and head down here to this room. What the fuck? What? Okay, apparently that guy's a wall master, or a floor master. Get in the hole. Nope. You missed. Don't need these guys, so let's see. Um, hello? What? Hey, dummy. Need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops! There I go, talking too much again. This is Facade. He is literally the room. He will start off by throwing literally everything in the room at you. Uh, flying tiles, flying pots, and then he will start opening holes in the floor. How do you beat him? Well, you drop a friggin' bomb on his face. And then he'll hide his face for a bit. And then he'll come back and rinse and repeat. Very clever boss. Very easy boss. He returns in a later game as a mini boss. Which is all the better for him. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. So, Mural was right. But that also means that the nightmares are afraid. You've got the Coral Triangle. 